Okay, let's get started with this. This is a strange game called Bounces. I haven't played this um, since the last time I streamed it, which was probably over a year ago. Uh, Bounces is a futuristic combat game. Two player, one or two player. Uh, you can be that guy or you can be that guy. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are. Um, and uh, let me explain to you how the game works. It's uh, think of it like man to man combat, right? Like a, like an arena style combat. And each of these guys, uh, first of all, you have a sword, so you can hit the other guy with a weapon, with a sword, or whatever. Okay. Second of all, there's a ball bouncing around. If the ball hits you, or you hit the other person with the ball, you knock him down, and you get a point. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. So if you hit him with the sword, you knock him down, and that's a point. If you hit him with the ball, uh, they fall down. That's a point, right? But what, what makes this uh, more difficult is that you are attached to the wall closest to you there with a giant elastic uh, rubber band. So uh, it's playing right now. But the further you get from the wall, you'll see there, the harder and the slower you can walk and all this. And if you let off the joystick... Uh, it, you'll start to slide back towards the wall, and if you if you slide all the way to the wall, you'll knock yourself down. So that's the point of the game: is to um, you see, there's a timer there. It's how many points can you score um, within uh, uh, that time. So let's see here. I, I'm probably in the wrong joystick port, uh, but we want one player and. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I'm the guy on the left. So I could... Oh, I didn't grab that very well. Oh. There we go. Okay, so it's... You gotta point your sword at the ball. Uh, why am I not... Aha! <laughs> I just stabbed him. That was easier. Aha! I betcha. Oh, you got me. All right, you can cut and you can hunker down and then not move. Oh, but he stabbed me anyway. If you press up, you can kind of leap back. See that? Whoop, whoop. Quick. Oh, I got us both. <laughs> oh. Couldn't quite get it. I bet you. Now, one of my favorite... Oh, got it right in the head. One of my favorite tricks... Let's see if I can do this here. Get back on your side. So you can, there you go. See, I kind of launch at an angle down there. Oh. Uh, 20, oh, he's killing me, but now you switch sides, so now it's the second half of the, the game, but he, he's, uh, killing me. Literally. So I'm still the barbarian, now I'm just on the other side there. <laughs> A little cheap shot on my part. Oh. Oh, you got me again. I'm not doing so good against the computer. This was so much... Jeff and I used to play this all the time because uh, it, it supports two players. And uh, and the controls are really simple. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, uh, the joystick and then holding the button. Like, if you hold the button and point it towards the ball, you can grab... That's how you catch the ball. And then let go of the button. Or if you just... Uh, let's see. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it's so close on the score, too. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> you got two shots. Oh, man. 68 to 78. Uh, Jazu says he likes the font of the countdown timer. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, Pong and uh, bungee cords. So, yeah, you uh, like I said, you uh, uh, yeah, grab the ball and throw it. Catch it. And avoid it. Okay. One player. Let's go. Oh, and... Uh, and uh, see how uh, the arrow up there? You can control which guy you're going to be. Okay, so I'm started on the right this time. I'm still the barbarian. I guess the which character you are uh, is controlled by... Uh, Oh, I tried to catch that. Uh, it's controlled by the joystick port. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the worst is when you when you get them and then you get yourself off the rebound. I also like doing this. They go, woo, like wind up a shot. I remember you thinking I was real cool if you could catch it on the slide. Like if you're doing that and you could catch the ball. Oh. That's my favorite shot is when you get the ball and then you kind of bounce it off the ground at him. Oh, come on now. How about you? Jump back, then I grab it again. Oh no! Come on, stab it. You know this is probably. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's easy to say. Oh, we're switching sides. Oh, I'm up by two points. I'm up by two points at the half. Come on, barbarian! Don't let us down now. Oh, <laughs> I got myself. Ay ay ay. Come over here. I'll get you. I get you. Oh. oh. I was looking at the ball and that guy stabbed me in the face. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, ducked that one. You see that? There it is. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yes. I'm, oh, come on. Stay on your side now. Oh, no! Come on! You get more points, I think, for the... Ah! Come on. I'm stabbing you! Stab! <laughs> oh, that's how you do that. Look at that score. I'm up by... T oh, no, come on. Don't be... Don't be stabbing me now. <laughs> oh, the wind is in the bag. Just watch out. Don't let him get you down. 72. Oh, no. 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 76. Yay! I am the bounces champion. Uh, so the ball is like, remember like in Tron where they had the ball and they're just throwing it at each other? Uh, on the discs of Tron or whatever, it's like that. So you, just, the ball is bouncing around, but you could grab the ball and then you just point and like point it at the other guy. See, watch here. So the ball's bouncing around, and you just throw it at the other guy, and that counts as a hit. So when it comes by you, if you grab it with your sword and hold down the button, then you can repoint it at the other guy and shoot the ball uh, at them. And then after so many times, like, I don't know, I don't know what you call it, like a volley, the ball goes back up there in the roof and it goes back and forth and it gets relaunched 
uh, into play. So you can stab each other or you can grab the ball and, and hit the other guy with the ball. Yeah, medieval rug'em sock'em robots. That's a great description, actually. This is, um, I don't know how you guys are, man. I just have, like, comfort games. Like, this is what I would call a comfort game. Um, you know, like, I had those games that, okay, see, I grabbed it. Boom, hit him in the face. Uh, could I grab it again? Nope, missed it. But then while he's looking at the ball, oh, I was going to stab him. Oh, you got me twice. Get over there. Get over there. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, I've got the ball. Oh. Yeah, like those comfort games where a man is like, like he would just load it up, sit there and play, mindless fun, you know. This is one of those games for me. Barbarian, I think, is one of those games for me. You know, maybe we'll play some Barbarian. I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm done with the holidays, man. I'm done with Christmas. I don't know about you guys. I've never been a big um, New Year's guy. And um, um, we've got a, uh, we have a, a thing here called Opening Night. And uh, it's downtown and they have all these bands. And you buy a wristband, and I went to it a couple of times, but, you know, it's like my dad used to always say, like, New Year's Eve is kind of like amateur night for drinking, you know, so I don't want to be on the roads anyway. If I go out anywhere, it would be to a friend's house or have friends over here and just chill. And, uh, anyway, they're not doing it this year. They said, no, nope, not, uh, oh my gosh, he is killing me. 3562, what happened? <laughs> we got to make a big comeback here. Oh, <laughs> I gave him a few points. By, and I gave him some more points there by falling and then by taking the ball to the face. There we go. Let's see if I hit him in the back. Nope. He was ready for me. I'm not going to be able to catch him points. How about you? And that's a long volley. See, I'm like, oh, he won't even get up. He's like, he's so, oh, boy. Oh, no. I guess we'll see if the score could go triple digits. <laughs> uh, Drazu says, um, uh, he watched Dial of Destiny again. And Dial of Destiny was, uh, um, <clears throat> You know, here's the thing about Dial of Destiny. We'll go off on a rant here in the middle of this game. I'll edit this out. Uh, the problem with Dial of Destiny is that the the um, the movies had already ended. <laughs> like they already wrapped up the Indiana Jones story, right? He and Marion got married. Mutt, when his name Mutt, he was off on his own, and then that's it. The story is over. So they had to bring everybody back to have an adventure to wrap it all up again. It didn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm too old for hangovers. Okay. Okay, this time I'm the knight. I switched sides here. So now I'm the knight. I'm going to take on this dirty barbarian. Oh, he got us both.
Watch this. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I think after this we need to play some Barbarian. That's another just mindless time killer, you know what I mean? What in the world is going on over there? I think there's an LED light going out in the hallway. I like how when lights go out now in your house that it turns into a strobe light dance party. I assume that's what's happening. Sorry, I was either, I was like, either there's, one of my lights in the living room has turned into a strobe light or there are cops outside my house. <laughs> but it, it was just a light. But it was just going nuts. Oh, that's the best. When it gets you and then you stand up and get it again. Ah. Dumb. No way, I'm catching up on this one. <laughs> I just took like 90 shots. I gotta play again as the uh, as the night. Hey, pants, what's going on? Mm. You know what it kind of reminds me of when you pick up the ball. It's kind of like um, you know on California Games when uh, you're on the surfing and you have to like. Uh, go back or in re-enter the water in the exact same angle or the opposite angle that you left. The, catching the ball is like that. It's like you have to be uh, at the exact angle. Your sword has to be pointed right at the ball. All right. Let's try that again. I'm gonna, I want to play the, uh, the knight one more time. All right. So I'm the knight. And I'm on the right. I'm the knight on the right. How about you, barbarian? Oh, I got him on my face. Oh, <laughs> I blocked the ball with my face. Bad start for the old blue knight there. Oh, <laughs> I got it there. Not doing so good. <laughs> Got him. Oh, the old sword to the face trick. Another one. Taking it slowly. We're building up some points. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah, why don't you get back over on your side there, rubber band. Come on. Oh, I tried to duck. Just duck. My uh, my sister in law for Christmas got me. Uh, she kind of went on like Timu and bought like fifty things that had to do with camping. All right, I got a ten point lead, eleven point lead. I'm switching sides. I'm now the blue knight on the left, and we're in the second half of the battle. Uh, my sister in law bought me a whole bunch of camping related items off of Timu. <laughs> And uh, one of them is a, uh, oh, that was stupid. The old one-two. Giving points away like it's candy and a creeper van. Oh, come on. And uh, 
I haven't figured out what, what it's for yet. Uh, it, it says uh, it's, it's it's something to make uh, ramen noodles in, okay? And it's a little tiny pot. It like even hold one little thing of, of uh, ramen noodles, one pack of ramen noodles, okay? Uh, but here's the thing. <clears throat> the outside of it is plastic, so you could not put this on the stove or a flame or anything like that, okay? But the inside of it is stainless steel. So I don't think you can put that in a microwave, right? So I, I'm a little confused as to what to do with it. Do you just put boiling water inside this pot? But if you already got something that's boiling water, why wouldn't you just put the ramen in that? Like, I, I'm just not really sure what to do with this thing. Also, I think there's metal on the outside of it. Like, there's a strip of metal that goes around the edge. So I, I don't think you can microwave it, but, um, so, all right. Oh, it's a tie game. 95, 95. That seems like a good way to end. That's a good way to end. 